Hello folks, Pastor Matt Cordes here, one of the pastors at Hope Church, bringing you your daily devotional, your bit of good news and some encouragement for you folks today. You know, one of the things that we're all called to do right now is to wait. And I don't know about you, but I've never been super great at waiting. And yet throughout the scriptures, we're reminded often to wait upon the Lord. Psalm 27 tells us to do just that, to wait upon the Lord. Psalm 40 tells us to wait patiently. Psalm 62 tells us to wait in silence. Psalm 63 verse 9 says, I am weary with crying. My throat is parched. My eyesight fails as I wait upon the Lord. That doesn't sound like a lot of fun now, does it? And yet we're called repeatedly to wait. And to, and why should we wait? Why can't God just show up and do whatever God's going to do? And I don't know. To be a person of faith, a follower of Jesus, is to embrace mystery and to acknowledge that there's some things that we just don't know. We're in the midst of Holy Week. Could you imagine the anxiety that the disciples had as they had to wait? As they watch Jesus be arrested and then tried and then crucified and buried, and yet they were forced to wait. And so there must be some good fruit that comes from this waiting if God seemingly so in favor of it. And I'm convinced of this. One, that God is at work. That God's at work. And two, that it is in the waiting that faith happens. It's in the waiting that we learn to trust. It's not when things are good when we're comfortable and cozy that we learn to trust or to lean into our faith, it's when we're in the midst of struggle, when we're in the midst of waiting. That's when faith happens. That's when we learn to trust. So I want to encourage you this week to do the things that nurture and nourish faith, to open up the scriptures, to do a devotional, to find a good book that breathes life into your soul, to to pray with folks, to call on friends and family and have faith-filled conversations, to check in on your neighbors and see if there's anybody in need. Because on the other side of this waiting, good things happen. I'm going to read from Isaiah chapter 40, and it says this, But those who wait for the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. God bless you.